In recent weeks, there has been growing concern in South Africa about the safety and food products sold in spaza shops, particularly these operated by undocumented foreign nationals. This comes in the wake of reports that several children have tragically died after consuming snacks from these outlets. The issue has ignited a widespread outrage, and Gaten McKenzie, the leader of the Patriotic Alliance and South Africa's Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, has emerged as a vocal critic using his platform to demand swift action against illegal immigrants involved in these businesses. Mackenzie, known for his slogan, hashtag Abahambe, they must leave, has not minced words in the series of tweets addressing the crisis. In one post, he expressed frustration over the lack of decisive action, stating, we need to close all these shops. We can't be debating this matter anymore. These shops shall be closed and the owners arrested and deported. What more do you want to see? More children dying. He went on to emphasize the need for the government to act swiftly, warning that the ongoing crisis could lead to public unrest and that South Africans have been exercising maximum restraint and discipline. We are now burying our kids weekly. We as government should act and act fast before the people wrongfully take the law into their own hands. Or what do we owe these illegal immigrants? Let them go. Mackenzie has consistently advocated for mass deportation of undocumented immigrants citing the challenges they pose to South African communities and said, I will never stop fighting for mass deportation. I've been bringing this matter up using channels afforded to me. As a minister, I must respect the Minister of Home Affairs and give him space to do his job. We will never abandon this fight, patriots. His hardline stance has resonated with many South Africans who feel the government has been slow to address the issue of illegal immigration and those associated economic and social challenges. Some have even voiced their support for Mackenzie's political future with several social media users expressing their willingness to back the PA leader in upcoming elections. Well, they say if you can't beat them, Join them. The Economic Freedom Fighters, a party previously known for its pro-immigrant stance and advocacy for open borders, appears to be recalibrating its position and joining the song of the PA leader. After years of calling for borderless South Africa, the party now stresses that all individuals entering the country must do so legally. The senior officials, including Dr. Mkini Nzwaku, recently visited shops run by national foreigners to inspect the quality and safety of the food being sold. Similarly, African National Congress Secretary General Figi Lembalula has weighed in on the matter calling for thorough investigation into the cause of children's death. He assured the public that the government will ensure these businesses comply with South African laws and regulations, adding that we want answers as to why kids are dying after consuming their food. As the government and political parties scramble to address the crisis, the public remains on edge, demanding accountability and action to prevent further tragedies. The situation underscores the broader tensions surrounding immigration in South Africa and complex challenges of balancing compassion with the need for security and order. That's a check on this one, people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.